Yeah, hi viewers, Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist. Um, very interesting scenes in Gosford today. Um, the miracle tent's been set up by the Christians and the Jehovah Witnesses haven't run away this time. Usually they disappear. Now watch this video, please. This is very interesting. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist. You've got the Christian tent there, the miracle tent. And then over there is the Jehovah Witness cart. Now I've been to the Christian tent over there and I spoke to the guy over there and they don't want nothing to do with the Jehovah Witnesses and I went over to the Jehovah Witnesses, I'll just zoom in on them because I always say hello to them. I told them this morning about JW Suicide's video how there's 51 Kingdom Halls being sold in New South Wales in the last um, four years. It's got a bit of a shock, the last one being Warner's Bay um 1.1 million uh, and i also told them what else did i tell them something else but the christians they're not going to have anything to do with the j dubs and the j dubs aren't going to have anything to do with the christians so i've been going in between the two i don't know you know i said to the christians what hope you've got coming here for he's come here for you know uh, four days and the Jehovah Witnesses are down here three times a week, um, every week. The Jehovah Witnesses, I told them, I said that the Christians and they laughed. They just laughed. So, you know, I don't know how it all works or what, where it's all supposed to go. It doesn't look, these people aren't interested in anything, any of it. They're having a cup of tea, there's my beautiful wife. But oh gosh. Oh gosh, imagine coming here for four days with a the, Actually, the Jehovah Witness has gone. Um, they've gone. Um, oh, is there any miracles happening in the miracle tent? And they'll be being, being cheeky about it. Really cheeky. Well, we won't know and they won't know unless we actually go. I have seen miracles in the miracles tent. Um, but. The Christians, they're just happy to let the Jehovah Witnesses go. The Jehovah Witnesses, they're just laughing at the Christians. Gee, they're cocky, the Jehovah Witnesses, aren't they? Gee, they're cocky. Oh, dear. Anyway, this is Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist, trying to enjoy Easter in between these two groups. Um, and bye for now. So that happened today down at the waterfront. Now... The interesting part about it is the Jehovah Witnesses couldn't care less about the Christians. And I got right into, into it with the Christians and I said, look, we've got these people coming out here three times a week, 52 weeks of the year just about, and you guys are turning up here for four nights and night meetings or whatever you're going to do and you think you're going to impact the community, you're completely deluded. The Jehovah Witnesses have four stations four cart stations between the waterfront there up to the train station, which is about a kilometre away, where they set up their carts. Now, the Christians have got no comprehension of how far they're getting left behind by the evangelism, the evil evangelism of the J-dubs. Now, the J-dubs, they're petrified of anybody that wants to speak about anything to do with the Bible. They're petrified. The woman grabbed the man on the arm today and she was trying to pull him away and I'm just thinking, again, I was just the conclusion for me is they're a nuisance. They're out there peddling their false religion. But the Christians aren't doing anything um, in, from what I can see in an evangelistic way in my area. Now they might be doing it within four walls, be it feeding the poor, which is great and all that sort of stuff. But the general public that walks along the pathway there, I'll just see if I can get it back up. Um, where is it? Let me see. Okay, Dr. Jason W. Mar uh, hang on. I'll have to... I don't know how to navigate this. Oh, gosh. As you can see. Okay, Dr. Jason W. Morrison. No, I'll just leave it. But there's a pathway. There's part of the pathway. That goes right up the state to the station, which is at the other end of town. Um, I wonder if I can jump forward a bit here. Just that I can't see, I haven't got my glasses on, hang on. But what, what the Christians can't comprehend is the no, Jehovah the Witnesses. The right, see that pathway there? That's the main artery along to the waterfront. I'm just going to play this a little bit further. That's the main artery. So they're sitting 
I'll come back a bit. They're sitting right in the main artery. That's the boat ramp there. Hang on. I'm going to cough. <coughs> Sorry. I'm only human too. Um, and then these people are out in the middle of the paddock where they set up the carnivals and stuff. But look at, look at the people coming past the Jehovah Witnesses. Look. Look. They're right in the, they're right in the artery. And there, so you could just see, just, I'll see if I can scan back a bit. This is that pathway and it goes right along the waterfront. Look. See that? It goes right along the waterfront. So the Christians are sitting out in the middle of nowhere. He's just coming out of the, the coffee shop there. But the Jehovah, gee, they're bold, the Jehovah Witnesses. I have to say, they are bold. They just put themselves in the thick of it. But they're very cunning in how they do it because they don't. And even the Christians said, well, the Jehovah Witnesses don't confront anybody. That's their, one of their tactics. Because if anything bad happens, they can say, well, the people came to us. We didn't go to them. We just put ourselves there. Um, and to me, that's uh, very cunning in the way that it protects itself from anything that may come back to bite them through their lies and things. So I speak pretty in depth with these people, but it's pretty well, it's pretty well hopeless. I'm doing a paper at the moment on, um, and this is where I got into it with the Christians. I said, what about the theological ethics here? What about the, um, theological abuse? Now, theological ethics is when theology is either good and correct or wrong. And you know what the Christians said? They said, well, the Muslims are out in society as well. Now, I didn't even see that coming. I was talking about the Jehovah Witnesses. But they used the Muslim and other religions as an excuse for the Jehovah Witnesses to be out there. But from a, from a um, legal sense, they are allowed in the, the community. But if a constitution's built on Christianity, and they're using Christianity in a false way. I wonder how, if you take them to court, how you can prove their theology is wrong. Because it seems if you've got a religion, you can say whatever you want, and, and there's no um, law against it. And that really aggravates me. Even the missus said, what are you getting so upset for? Because um, they're allowed to do it. I'm thinking, yeah, but it's it's a a danger to the community. If people are out there peddling lies, then how's that a benefit to the to the poor people? Let's have a look again. Um, these innocent people that are just going about their daily lives. Look, and the Jehovah Witnesses are set up right in the thick of it. Look, to me, that's a danger to the community because their beliefs aren't right and healthy. Why don't somebody comment and let me know what you think. This is Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Bye for now. Oh, and before I go, do excuse me, before I go, have a, a good Easter and remember the good Lord, the Lord himself. Bye for now.